Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and this video is going to show how to map materials and by mapping materials that means laying out the material on your objects uh, for scale and rotation and making them try and get them to look the best they can so I'm just going to go through some of the basic tools that you have at your disposal for this I've got a basic object here with three different types of wood material attached to it so we're going to look at a few different options here and first show you um, if you're familiar with older versions of AutoCAD the set UV command would be the one to go with and you'll see right there it shows set UV in brackets material map now there's no shortcut for this so set UV is a lot easier to type than material map so you can use whichever one you like and I'll also show you in the uh, ribbon where it is as well But anyway this is one way to start it so without further ado I'm just going to select the default of box and think of a box as putting material around all six sides of a box seems uh, pretty straightforward so what I'm going to do is select the most box like object I have which is this one and press enter and you'll see that I've got all kinds of grips that come up now I can zoom in on this it's a little hard to see when I'm doing these little uh, web videos but you'll see that I can grab a grip and make these make the material smaller or bigger and depending on the material you're using this is going to change a little each time so you can see I can get a finer grain on this wood or a looser grain and so it all just kind of scales out there the other thing I can do is rotate it and you've got this little widget here so I can rotate it around this plane just by selecting and grabbing it or I can pick one of the other ones like on this blue so you can see you've got quite a bit of uh, variety of tools to work with here so I'm just going to press enter and you can see that it's once again this is just a rough preview but it gives you a little bit of an idea of what there is the other thing I can do if I go to set UV is try to reset the mapping I've just typed in the R option and you can see it's gone back to a previous state so if I go to visualize on my uh, and I'm in the 3d workspace here and go to material mapping and then there's a little arrow here I can go to planar box cylindrical or spherical so the next one I'm going to look at is spherical and it even gives you pictures to help with I mean they're trying to make it pretty easy for you these days so I'm going to select spherical and I'm just going to click right on this round object here press enter and so now I've got the same kind of options here rotate it around a little and it's a little tougher on the spherical that you can see there and I'm just going to uh, press T this time to reset so I can take it back and so it's uh, a little trickier to use than the other one you don't have as many grips to use you can see how the stays the same size as you zoom in and out make it a little easier to grab Another option I'm going to look at is 
material mapping and cylindrical and what I've got here is half a cylinder and so I can once again use the grips to scale it up or down and try and get something that looks you know reasonably close and it's and it's not always easy with this and once again you might have to try a few settings do a rendering and see how it looks and another option I've got here is planar which is just a flat surface and it shows you once again in that example like a tabletop and what I'm going to do here is hold down my control key and you'll see that it's going to select just the face instead of the whole object and so now I can scale this up or down and I don't really want to rotate it on planar as a rule but I just wanted to show you some of the different options you've got with your mapping materials and this is tricky I mean adding material is simple you just drag material over and boom it's done but where you start doing the mapping is where you're gonna make or break your renderings so draw some random objects and just look at the material look at the scale um, try drawing a brick wall to scale see if you can make it look like brick um, do another wall see you know see if you can make it look like wood paneling there's uh, tons of materials now that come to, uh, with the default installation of AutoCAD so explore those see what's around in later tutorials we'll look at creating our own materials as well so anyway, this has been a quick look at material mapping with mycadsite.com. Thanks for watching and visit the website for more information, more tutorials.